So if you really, you and I really started thinking about our sins, we'd le worry less about what other people are doing, we'd become more primarily concerned with what we ourselves are doing. Now, if you really do get concerned with you, what you yourself are doing, and you get overwhelmed that there's no hope for me, there's no forgiveness for me, it is at that point that we need the, the, the guidance of Allah Azza wa Jalla. There's a very hopeless, depressing state to be in. You know, the, the, the most difficult or the most dangerous psychological state is to be hopeless. That's the most dangerous psychological state. You know, non-Muslims even, when they completely lose hope, they do things like overdose on drugs, commit suicide, commit all kinds of crime, when they're hopeless, when there's no hope for them. They, they're willing to do all kinds of things. When they reach that absolute bottom in the soul of a human being, that is when a human being has no hope whatsoever. But Allah Azza wa Jal doesn't leave us hopeless. The Messenger of Allah told us وسلم, from the very beginning, كُلُّ بَنِي آدَمْ خطاؤون. All children of Adam make mistakes. But he added, وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ تَوَّابُونَ The best of those who make mistakes are people who come back to Allah. They turn back and repent to Allah. In other words, Allah has left that door open for us. No matter how many mistakes we make, Allah is willing to wipe the slate clean. No record. You know, in any society, once you commit a crime, it goes on your permanent record. It can't be expunged. It can't be removed. It's there. It's sitting there. It's like this dark cloud over you. You know, people that, for example, have been inside the system for whatever reason, when they come out, they have a very hard time finding work. People do a background check, they can't get a job. Because there's something on their record. Allah Azza wa Jal completely wipes out your record. If you and I are sincerely ready to turn back to Him, if we really mean it, if we really, really mean it, it's not words that Allah is looking for, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's looking for a sincere heart that turns back to Him. A heart that truly feels sorry for what He has done, or what she has done. When we can do that, Allah offers us a fresh start. An absolutely fresh start. These are the words of hope that Allah Azza wa Jalla gives us in Surah Al-Furqan. He goes, a really extreme step. He doesn't just say that he'll forgive our sins. He says, فَأُولَٰئِكَ يُبَدِّلُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتِ Those people that truly repent back to Allah, I will take all of their mountains of evil deeds and convert them to good. In other words, just for you sincerely turning back to Allah, now it's not just that you have to answer Allah for a million evil deeds, He converted those million evil deeds into a million good deeds you haven't even done. Just because you made tawbah, just because of that. Just because of that one thing He's asking from us. How much more easier can Allah Azza wa Jal make our life? You know people that do a lot of sin, shaitan comes to them and tells them, you're going to hell anyway, might as well party. That's what he tells them, literally. And they, and they live it up like that. Well, pff, what am I going to do? You don't know, brother, I'm real messed up, so might as well go all out. Listen to every single whisper of shaitan. Might as well go out with a bang, right? Only live once, and then you burn forever. That's the idea. You know, congratulations on that, that mentality. What does Allah Azza wa tell us? إِلَّا مَنْ رَحِمَ رَبُّكْ وَلِذَٰلِكَ خَلَقَهُ مَا يَفْعَلُ اللَّهُ بِعَذَابِكُمْ Allah says, what's Allah going to do punishing you? Think Allah wants to punish you? Allah asks that, that question in the Qur'an, He asks us that question. What's He going to do punishing you? That's not why He made you. In another place He says, the only, except for the people He showed mercy to, and that's why He created them. He created them so He can show them mercy. He created us so we could earn His mercy. He didn't say He created us for hell. He created us so we can earn His mercy. He wants us, He wants to show us His mercy. He opened the door for us. He asked us to take one step and He'll fill in the rest Himself. You don't even have to do more than that. Just turn back to Him a little bit. Give Him a little. And He's willing to open those doors.